Hi, I'm Jack Rand, a strategic business coach. And today I want to talk to you about an epiphany that I've had while working with clients and putting together my personal results system that's designed to keep you on track and focused so you can get what you want. Let's get started. The first thing that I realized is that most people think of results and accomplishment as a straight line. I'll give you an example. Results and accomplishment, 500 to 1,000 straight line. In reality, it's a cycle with seven distinct steps. The first step is vision. What is your vision? What do you want? What do you see in your mind's eye? Right? It's not dollar bills, usually. It's a feeling. It's you know, how you're going to be in the world. Now, do you want that vacation? Do you want uh, the business goals, your achievements? You know, what is it for you that you really and truly want? The next step is your purpose. Your purpose is your heart. It answers the question, why do you want those things? Why do you want those achievements? Those achievements right, are important to you and your heart. The next step that you have after purpose is once your purpose is strong enough, you will set goals. Okay? If you do not have a strong enough purpose, when the going gets tough on your goals, you will quit. It's really that simple. Let me give an example, a very simple example. Suppose you started to want a bike. What would you do? Well, you're going to start looking at the reasons you want it. Well, you get some exercise, right? get outside, get to be with friends, or not. Right? And you start to build your list, your reasons of why that bike would be good for you. Once your list gets strong enough, and your purpose gets strong enough, you will set a goal. Perhaps it's a bike in 30 days. The next natural thing you're going to do is what? You're going to take action. Some of you may go into the garage to see if you have a bike. Then you're pretty much done. Others may say, no, I want a different kind of bike. What kind of bike do I want? Well, is it a tricycle, motorcycle, mountain bike, road bike? What color do I want? What seat do I want? What handlebars do I want? What kind of gearing and tires? It goes on and on until at some point you either have a bike or you don't. Either one is fine. Big point is, is that you now have a result. So what do we know from actions, from physics, for every action, there is a reaction or result every time. So in coaching, we spend a lot of time in results, goals, and actions. We're looking at the goals you set to see the results you're getting. That tells us if your actions are correct for what you want. I'll give you an example. Suppose you wanted five new clients, and you got four. What worked? We're going to look at some detail at your actions and what worked with that. And we're going to see what didn't work. Why didn't the other one show up? Or why didn't five more show up? We're pretty soon going to figure that out. Now, what's also true from results is that when, a result, when you have a result, that piece is now done or complete. It's finished. That's the next step, is complete and finished. And when you do that, that piece is over for that period of time. Now, what most of us will do is if we, got, we wanted five and got four, we're going to take some time to beat ourselves up. You know, I could have got the uh, one more if I would have worked a little harder, if I wouldn't have slept, if I wouldn't have you know, taken a day off, et cetera, et cetera. There's no evidence whatsoever that that type of behavior improves your results. In fact, what, there's a lot of behavior that says that by completing and celebrating. Celebrating what you have achieved right, will help you be more effective, more productive, and more confident. This piece here, complete and celebrate, is actually a piece that builds your foundation for you. The more you have, the stronger foundation you have, the more effective you are, the more confident you are. Here's my argument for the reason that the Egyptian pyramids have been around for thousands of years. The foundation is so wide. 
one of the major reasons for it. Most people run their lives like upside down pyramids. The least little thing blows them over. Why? Their foundation is not solid enough to sustain them. What's the next critical piece? It's renewal. Renewal means what? To recharge yourself. I'll ask clients all the time. They, cause they come to me and they'll say, Jack, I'm so tired all the time. What's up? I ask them, what are you doing to renew, to recharge yourself? The usual answer is a long pause. That tells me they're not doing anything to take care of themselves. Now what happens? This is Jack's magic wand. And by magic, I now have a magic marker that's a flashlight. Really cool flashlight. High performance batteries, very light, bright beam. What happens if I leave it on all the time though? It goes out. Yes. What do you have to do to get it to work again? Recharge it. Yes. However, we don't take the same care of ourselves. We keep going on and on and on, day after day, week after week, month after month, with no recharging. Some people will say, gee, I'll recharge on my vacation. Well, in this country, not many people take the vacation. Let's assume, though, that you do. Five days away. Five days, 24 hours a day. That's uh, 140 hours right? 120 hours, right? Being totally away. Now, let me give you a contrast. If you took two hours a week all to yourself for 52 weeks, that's 104 hours all to yourself, no extra expenses, none whatsoever. And you have the chance to recharge yourself, to renew yourself. What's interesting is that when we put renewal in for someone, just take an hour, maybe two hours a week for themselves, their productivity improves. Now, it can be something very simple. For women, for some, it's like taking a bath, candles, glass of wine, right? For men, maybe it's riding a bike. Right? Whatever is that you like to do and have fun doing is what you do to recharge yourself on a regular basis. So, if you want to take the opportunity to start to improve your results, your results, to begin to get what you want in your life, right? Go to my website, jackrand.com. Click on Unleash Your Potential. Take a look at my personal results system that's designed to be a central place for you to stay focused, be on track, and begin to get the things that you want. I'll see you next time.